We're going? All right. So now we'll take it out to the grill. So we got our char brew grill, and we're going to go ahead and turn the gas on. We're going to take it over here. Ignore the grill mess. We're going to turn them all on. We're going to start that thing up. We're going to close it down. And I'll be back in a couple minutes. So we're going to make compound butter for our steak. And I already have some dried butter that I like to leave out on the uh, on the countertop. However, I'll show you how to do it the way I learned from YouTube. Pause. So here I have my stick of butter. And I'm going to need a bowl of some sort. Okay, this is a microwave safe. That's always important to check. I'm gonna go ahead, come get a little bit closer. So I already have a little bit of compound butter made, so I'm not gonna use all of this. I'm just gonna use about a quarter stick. And I like to unwrap mine after I cut it because I'm lazy. And this is actually gonna go back in the fridge. Actually, no, it's not gonna go back in the fridge. I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna put it with my other butter right now. Don't worry, I just washed my hands before this video started. That's one thing I never see in the cooking videos is they never tell you to wash your hands, but you should wash your hands because, you know, I don't know what's going on there. And then we're going to, oh shit, I made this rice earlier, but I forgot about it. That's okay. So we're going to put that butter in there. And we're going to go ahead and go here. Cook power, 10. Cook time, 15. Start that up. That's 15 seconds of cook time. So then while that's cooking, we can go ahead and get our plastic wrap out. So you're gonna to wanna to get plastic wrap. Honestly, this is way too much, but it'll work for what we need it for. Set that down, throw this away. So I'll be right here to throw this away. And then we need to see if this is melty yet. We see it's not, put that back in there. Cook time, 15, cook power, 10, start that up. That's another 15 seconds. And then while we wait, we're gonna go ahead and think about what we wanna put in our compound butter. I'm a basil guy myself. Garlic, onion, no. No garlic onion today. Cause I have some compound butter from last night with garlic butter. Don't bother how I tie this up. It's good, I promise. See, look, nice little chunks okay okay we're gonna go ahead cut the video because i'm gonna do this twice so now that it's nice and soft ish we're gonna go ahead and come over to the fridge and i'm gonna get some dry basil because i'm a fan of it i'll leave that fridge open for just a second i'm just gonna put a little bit of basil in there because it's real strong and then yesterday i used mixed garlic but today we are going to use basil because it's real strong and it's real good Mixed up well enough, at least. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and plop that down on your on your baking tray. And this is the best part. You're gonna to wanna to go ahead and take this, get it nice and tight. While you're rolling it. And then literally, it's that easy. Twist the ends up. Take it to your freezer, put it anywhere. Put it anywhere in the freezer. That's good. And then we still have our sauce simmering for our other video, so don't worry about that. Back out to the grill. So you see, my grill is at 600 degrees, which is way too hot. So we're gonna cut off two of those. We're gonna let it get some air. Okay. And we're actually gonna cut these down too. So, I want to cook it at about 550, 500. So that's too hot. I've cut the video. This is real important for the video, so I gotta come back and tell you guys. I'm not gonna cut when I'm cooking the steaks, because I feel like in a lot of YouTube videos, they say, oh, and just do this and do that. No, I'm gonna show you the whole cooking process of how I cook these steaks so that you at home can follow it to the T. You see, I got about 
let's call that two inches. About a, I don't know, about a, maybe an inch wide steaks of fat cap is, but the meat itself is not that fat, you know? So we're looking at, I don't know, call that an inch if you want, but that's probably not really an inch, especially not this more skinny part down here. They're about even sized. The, this one's actually a little thinner, even though it looks bigger, which that's fine. See, I touched the meat. You can touch the meat as much as you want. Look, watch this, because I'm gonna wash my hands. And then you come back over to the water. I wanna get soap on them. And we're gonna wash our hands. And I'll see you guys back out at the steaks at the grill. So, we have our steak seasoned with salt and pepper. And the grill. Can you see that? Right at about 500, 550, like we said. Oh, there's a fire down there. Okay, so now we're gonna crank that heat back up to get that nice open flame. And we're gonna go ahead and place these. I want to place it right, feel for the hot spot. So my hot spots are right in here. I'm actually gonna turn this one back on. Probably a little cold on that side, that's fine. And we're gonna go ahead and lay that right there. And you hear that sizzle, that's how you know that they're cooking because meat sizzles when it cooks. The fact of life. Okay. And then you just wanna hit them with your tongs a little bit for artistic integrity. Um and we're gonna actually close this. So, you see, come here again. You see how it's went down almost 100 degrees, right? About 50, 75 degrees since I last touched it. That's okay, that's okay. So I told you guys, I'm not gonna cut because I want you to see the cooking process and everything that it entails. So, we're not going to, but we are gonna go back inside to check on the compound butter. I have no idea what time I'll put those in at. So that's 103. So at about 105, we'll check the steaks again. And we'll find our compound butter. And look at that, it's already hard. It's been what, maybe five minutes? You don't need to do it very long. You don't want it to be frozen. And this will also be a video. What did I use this for? Cutting the butter originally, right? Oh wait, it's way too soft. That's fine though, it doesn't matter. Anyway, all right, so we're gonna combine them. By combining them, I mean I'll put that over here, put that over here, take my knife. We're gonna throw this away. So it's 104 now, so we're gonna check the steaks about every two or so minutes. You just gotta really, if I was at home, I would set a timer for about one minute, 30 seconds, two minutes, you know, depending on how hot your grill is. And I'm making this pizza sauce for another video. This is a slow simmer for, you know, I need to get some water out. So we're gonna not put that on. That doesn't matter. We're just talking about steaks right now. Put this back though, you gotta clean up after. So you gotta clean up while you cook. Cause if you're not, go in there. Cause then you don't have a messy kitchen and nobody wants a messy kitchen. But I need this for later, so that's fine. Leave that there. Pretend the dishes are done. Butter, follow that taste. Okay, now we're ripping and roaring back at about 550. So that's good. That means we can open this. Whew. All right, and we're gonna go ahead and check that. And of course it's sticking like a mother trucker because I didn't clean my grill. That's fine, doesn't matter. Who cares? You know, this is home cooking. This isn't. Oh yeah, that's a uh, coffee to watch. All right. Why is it sticking so bad? Oh my god. 
gosh. That is aggravating, to say the least. But it's fine. It's not the biggest deal on earth. You know, because I'm not cutting nothing. I'm showing you guys what the others won't show you. So look at those grill marks. They're okay. So then we're going to take that and throw it down right there. And we're going to rip this one up fast because ain't nobody got time for that. Ah, why is it doing this to me? All right. Then we're going to throw that down right there. Probably should have cleaned the grill, but mistakes happen. And that's 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 what this is about. And they're right, Ruby. Yes it is. I'm drinking black coffee today. Here's a black test. See no creamer in there. I don't do that. I don't look. Check it out. Real deal. Uh while we're waiting, we can go ahead and swap this plate out because we don't need this dirty plate. Ow, ow. 106 now, so the steaks have been on for about three minutes. We're gonna do about three minutes each side. And set off. And then we're gonna get a new plate. And this is where we'll put our finished product on. There we go, it ain't sticking no more now, is it? Hell no. We're gonna flip them bad boys over. And these bad boys are basically done. Go ahead and get a good view up on these bad boys right here. Yeah, yep, that's happening. That is happening, that is happening. It is, we're doing it. So you see that nice char grill look on the char broil, that's a fact. So we're cooking right at 450. I would honestly like to cook it a little hotter, but it's fine because I cooked the steaks too well last night. So that's good. Stop opening it. You don't need to open it. You need to trust the process. But if it gets too hot, open. 450, don't open. 550, you should have opened it a little while ago. So you just gotta make sure you're watching. Don't go inside, outside, inside, outside. You know, you're not a trained professional like me, self-taught professional like me self-proclaimed professional like me you're not but you can be if you watch these videos and who knows maybe you can make your own videos and i'll watch them and we're just doing it you know so that's getting up there so we'll open it again check these bad boys and they're ripping and roaring so here come get a come get a close-up on this little fat on this meat pocket dripping off that is what's going to cause flames to burst up and burn your steaks is that meat juice see if you get some fat and then let's check the underside of this bad boy right here yeah he's looking like he's ready to get flipped so if he's ready to get flipped he's ready to get flipped so we're going to take that we're going to throw him right there we're going to take him we're going to throw him right there and he's got maybe a minute left if even how long has it been i don't know Turn the heat off, close the door. Listen to that simmering. Come here. Get that simmering. Yeah, I know you hear that. I know you hear that. Yep. <laughs> Alright, so now, now that we're simmering the steaks, we're gonna go get the compound butter. I saw this on YouTube. Them steaks are done, I know they are. We gotta pull them off now. They're done. They're definitely done. They've been done. Bam. Cool. So what we're trying, what we're testing today with these steaks is we have our compound butter that's made from minced garlic that's bought in the fridge, refrigerated. And we're gonna throw that on one. Throw it under, throw it on top. And then we got our other compound butter that is made from garlic powder, as you saw me make. Throw that under. Okay. 
Now I got dirty hands. That's fine. We'll wash them. Bring these inside. Throw that right there. I'll get that out later. Now we'll let those steaks rest for a couple minutes and I'll, I'll bring them back to you. I'll bring them back. I'll, I'll get the camera back out. I'll get the camera back out when they're ready. How about that? Is it filming? Okay, so this is not part of the cooking video. This is just something I wanted to show you guys. There's only a little bit left in here. We're not sponsored, so don't show it. And then you want to take it to your mouth all the way up. So this is the pro right here. This is the pro cooking technique right here. Throw that wet paper towel down, cooking tray, whatever that thing is called. Cut more of it on top. And then we're gonna cut these steaks with my masugio knife or whatever it's called. So this is the one with real butter, real garlic. Some people like to cut that off. I'll leave that on. We'll be cutting against the grain. And they say, how do you know when you're cutting against the grain? Well, you see the grain is running that way. So that means we can cut it right here. And then I'll save the fat for my dogs, but I'll make sure that I rinse it off thoroughly with water first because I don't want to give them diarrhea. Put that back on our plate. And then this is the one that we made with garlic powder. Again, check for the grain. So the grain is running against this way. So we're going to cut this one. So look, we're going to cut this one. As you see, that's medium well. So if you want your steaks done, mm. okay, that's garlic powder. That's like a, I don't know, like medium, almost. This is with the fresh garlic or the garlic mince. Before you give the fat to the dogs, make sure you rinse it off. Fiona, you'll get some later. The roof is right here. Yep, he cut it in my head. Very good. Very good. So now, you taste test and tell me which one you like more.
Ready? That was oh, okay. I like that one. Damn, Rufus, out of the kitchen, go! I like the real garlic better. It's, it's minced garlic, so it's still, it's not necessarily real. So you heard it here first, you know, this is how you kind of cook a steak, right? It's not the best cook job in the world, but you know, we're learning. We're all learning together. My next video, or maybe this will be my second video, but I'll have my pizza video uploaded. Mm. So we're going to smash these steaks and then cook some pizza. See you next time.